every McDonald's. It's kind of like a, a patented thing. Oh, yeah. And they had a contract for them for like a hundred years or something. And so, the, because the company's contract for whatever reason, they need to have like a, like a licensed mechanic to come in and do it. And there's only so many of those in every region. That's why if the ice cream machine breaks, because, you know, for cleaning or something goes wrong, yeah. there's a million things that could go wrong, because it needs to be flushed out every day, right? And then, so if something goes wrong, you need a, a, a licensed maintenance for whoever the company is. And that's why the machines are always there. And this is Raymond. I'm being recorded. Saturday morning, <laughs> on the way back to the airport at 7 o'clock in the morning, and Raymond's explaining why Mike McDonald's ice cream machines don't work. <laughs> and he's got Sheila over there begging, hoping to get some of, some of Raymond's breakfast. And Rick's way over there on his computer. And I got Fox News on, the only news that counts. Better than that joke CNN. So I'm going to post this on YouTube and everybody can see us having breakfast yeah. together. And I'm having my, my tea. And it says on the front, you do something to me. If you follow the dots to the bottom. It says under there. Or if you prefer, we can take turns. That's my coffee, or my, my personal mug, and it's for my tea. And what are you having for breakfast? Mini wheats. Mini wheats. Cereal. <laughs> Concerned about the ice cream at McDonald's. That's right. Yeah. See, some people are worried about Afghanistan. And here comes Mickey. Oh, hi, Mickey. There's my toes. And then she was looking over like she thinks I have food, but I don't have food. Oh, now we have weather on CNN. Yeah. And this is us getting ready to take him back to the airport. It's quarter to eight, and your flight is at one o'clock. Yeah. But it's a two and a half to three hour drive to the airport. Yeah. Toronto Pearson. Rick's good. Hey, Rick. Did you find out what the weather is in Grand Prairie? No idea, right? No idea? I don't have my phone on the box. you find out? It's going to be colder than here. Happy second birthday. Oh, that's decent. Oh. Yeah, I'm making this video because that stupid video that I made yesterday was sideways. Yeah. <laughs> Weather in GP, Alberta. Uh, right now, it's low of 7. It's at 7. The high of 23. It's going up 23 today. In GP, yeah. But it's going to be cloudy when it's 23. He's after my tea. 80% humid humidity. It's supposed to rain. Any rain? Might be raining when you land. Uh, in the afternoon, it's just, just cloudy. How long is the flight the going home? Four and a half hours? Technically, it's only like two because of the time zone. Well, the time zone, that doesn't count. Yeah, but it, it's four hours. Well, four hours and 40 minutes. Uh, you used to be a pilot, but uh, explain this to me. So, Seabass was telling me that depending on which way you're flying, because the rotation... One way is faster than the other, but that doesn't make sense. Well, it is because because the wind, the prevailing wind, blows from the west to the east. Right. That makes and sense. the same thing when I flew to Moscow, Russia, it was eight hours from Toronto to Moscow, but it was ten hours from Moscow to Toronto. Mm -hmm. But because of the time change, because you're going through the time zone, mm -hmm. I would leave Moscow at noon and I would land in Toronto at three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. On a 10 hour flight is kind of weird. Yeah, well, I'm not talking about the like headwinds or the time zones. He's talking is because of the way the earth turns. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I, know, I don't think, I don't think, the, I don't think it makes that energy. much difference. It's well, like, maybe because the earth is turning at 25,000 miles an hour, right? But so are you, and so is the plane. So is the plane. So even if you're going up and you're going against it, you have to take all that energy out. So I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it makes a difference. The winds and stuff, yeah, sure, but yeah. So this is a 
five minutes of us jibber jabbering in the morning. Mm -hmm. The dogs are going to go with us. They're going to watch us. Hey, Sheila Cartwright. <laughs> oh, let's see if Mickey does it. Mickey, car ride? You want a car ride? <laughs> oh, what a pair of dogs. Anyway, I'll post this and then. Uh, bon voyage. Have a good flight. Yeah. Funny, my grandson Raymond here is 27. 26. 26, and this is the first time we got to see each other because mm -hmm. we live 2,500 kilometers apart. It's a long way. It's a long way. Well, but he got a good flight. He found this fly-by-night budget airline that it cost him 150 bucks round trip to Alberta. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get tied to the wings. <laughs> <laughs> It was like that movie we watched last night, Black Widow, where the guy hung onto the wing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Red Guardian, yeah. The Red Guardian. Yeah. The Crimson Avenger. <laughs> well, they call them uh, Crimson Dynamo. That's another Crimson. That's, a, that's an enemy of, like, Iron Man. But that movie, even though it was an action movie, was kind of a bit of a comedy. Yeah. All the Marvel movies are like that. Yeah. They, 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 oh, I like Deadpool. Mm-hmm. The bull's really good. I wonder, because now Disney bought the rights from Fox for all their stuff. Oh, did they? they have all the mutants back, except for the Spider-Man franchise, which is owned by Sony. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to watch Endgame again, because you said that movie was between Endgame and the previous one. Yeah, well, sort of. That, oh, that what was she called? Oh, she Black wasn't Widow. Black yes. Widow. Was, was she Black Widow in Endgame? Well, she's been there since the first Avengers, which came out in like 2020. Yeah, but I thought she had a different name. I didn't think she was always... Uh, yeah, always well, her name is um, Natasha Romanoff. Yeah, but was she always the Black Widow? Yeah, yeah, that's that's her comic book name. Yeah. Oh, well, I was thinking of that woman, remember, I told you about she turns blue, and then her hair goes red. She's got red hair and blue... Oh, that's Mystique. Those Mystique, are... I thought she was killed in Endgame. No, 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 no. Mystique's in a different universe. So that that's the the, the X Men, right? The X Men, oh yeah. But that's owned by Fox. Well, but I thought the X Men got together with the Avengers. No, no, Andrew. that was the Guardians of the Galaxy. That would be neat if they got together. Yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy joined in. Yeah, and everybody. But so the Fox movies are the X Men movies and the Fantastic Four, right? Because Fox used to have the rights to Marvel. But now Disney has all the rights, so there's the canon of the, the canonical story of Disney's cinematic universe has nothing to do with... Action. Oh, but now they got a new Avenger coming out, Shang Li. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't know much about Shang Li, but... They'll make up some new Avenger, the big bopper, but he was a singer and he's dead, so they can use his name as a new Avenger. Carry a baseball bat, <laughs> but actually, did you watch um, uh, what's that group with the girl carrying the, carrying the baseball bat? She was hanging out with the Joker. Oh, Suicide Squad. The, new the one? Suicide Squad. I heard the new one sucked. Yeah. Well, the second one was pretty good, but was it? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Cause Maybe. I like Margot Robbie. Yeah, Margot Robbie. And all that. But um. The Joker wasn't in the second one, cause cause he dumped her. He dumped her, and at the end of the first one, he dumped her, so he wasn't in the second one. Anyway, I'll end this video. So have a good trip.